Hey guys, this is a camper setup from Skinny Guys Campers, and we were very fortunate to sit down with these guys and do a full podcast. Now, you're going to find that on our website at partscounterguru.com, and you can listen to all kinds of details on that, but we're going to take you through this product on this video segment, and that's coming up right now. We've gone through some internal discussions about how to approach you know, packaging and a la carte optioning, right? So we do have a what we call call to bare bones. We've uh, since uh, going to move away from the super bare bones uh, because we do uh, wink, wink, have a product coming in behind at a even at a more uh, okay. more base, right? So right. the more base is is sort of a departure of the of the the idea that you you the floor is at the uh, truck bed's uh, height. It's more of a canopy, I guess what we're look, what we could call it is a canopy camper that remains ca cab high. So what what we would be, uh, our, our new base model is gonna be kind of in the go fast or the gotcha. AT uh, space, rear hatch open to the inside, but still have our bed system side entry. But the, the kicker yeah. is that we're gonna remain cab high. And that's going to be uh, put us uh, in a uh, where nobody else is, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And then, and then from there we go to what we call skin and bones, and that package level uh, is basically no systems, no one, no water systems, no LP systems, a really basic power system, and uh, comes with some cushions, the bed mat, um, a couple other things. And then we move up to a third package level, right. which we call the skinny fat what my wife calls me because I'm out of shape. Okay. <laughs> and uh, anyways, that package level becomes a camper. That's when we add in the water systems, the LP systems, the furnace, the cooktop, the sink. Comes with a porta potty at that at level, no flushing toilet. Uh, it's missing some of the top, the higher end power systems. And right. then when you get the kit and caboodle, that's when the top of the, top of the line red art comes in, the solar comes in. Uh, you can option in the, the toilet the flushing toilet at skin or at skinny fat and kit and caboodle, uh, but I think it, there's some consensus internally that we're going to allow customers to to a la carte some of the features that might be in a package above the package that they choose to bring it back into their package. Gotcha. Initially, we were going to try to control that because uh, we didn't want so many configurations that sure. we would have a hard time uh, sort of keeping track of the of the builds, mm -hmm. right? And uh, forcing us to stock too many parts. Sure, and, it um, makes total yeah. sense. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Our all of our parts when they when when we manufacture them, they all are prepped the same way. So depending on the option, uh, what's option or trim, uh, the customer picks, we can uh, modify them on the production line to make them what that trim level needs to be. So yeah, and um, I I love the fact that you're able to drop what you guys call what the basement right, out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really cool too is I. I when I'm looking at this, how do you get it off the truck? And I, so do the jacks you sell? Do the jack system? Does the jack system come with it? Yes. Each, okay. So right. it's a yes. three. It's three jacks, right? Yep. And you have the holes that are built into the side of it, correct? Right. Already to mount, and then it's it's really cool. I, it's a I cool can, system. I can barely take like the anticipation here. So we've got <laughs> we've got two m units here. And then there's a build here that we might want to mention if you guys want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, And we'll do this yeah. in real time. Like, I'll, we're going to go grab a mic and a camera, and we can stand up and kind of do a Yeah, walk we'll just walk and, around. I think we can, yeah, um, we, we can do that. I'll transfer some of the audio over, and uh, how about now? Like, yeah, let's, let's yeah. do it. We'll, we'll, and right. we'll, we'll get Justin involved, too. Yeah, yeah get yeah, Justin yeah, involved. So, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that'll be fun. So, let, yeah, let's All get right. up. Let's, let's take a walk around. And All right, everybody, this is Justin. He's going to give us a tour of the inside, and I've been waiting for this. A long time. You ready to do it? I'm ready. All Let's right, you go. go first. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're inside our six and a half um, skinny guy. So we'll start right here on the inside of the door. See, so inside of the door, we can see we have our, our Bullfinch shower port plugged in on our hose. It's extraordinarily long. We use this so you can shower on the inside. And you ask, how do you shower on the inside? Well, you use this shower port, and then we actually have a floor drain on the inside. Uh, we use a, a mat on the inside that can repel the water. It's very very similar to something you would see on the floor of, uh, of, of, of a boat. Uh, so it uses that kind of material. And you got your... Um 
your temperature control here because you got hot and cold, correct, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, so cool. you can turn that on and off, yeah. and then uh, just it just disconnects. You pull it the one way and just disconnects. I love that. Very uh -huh. easy, and you can coil it up and put it in uh, one of our storage compartments that we have here. So cool. you have a lot, tremendous amount of storage there. Uh, our lagoon table and table leg. This actually folds up and then actually can just be stored right here in front. And you can see the two magnets here. And then next to that, we have another bit of storage here on the inside. And then you got all your goodies here. Yeah, uh, this is your control panel, correct, right? Correct. So all the, all the front of this. So this is all modular. So depending on the package that you get, uh, depends on what's going to be on the face of that. So this one's a kit and caboodle. So it's highest level trim. So we have all of our all of our controls on the front of this. So the Red Arc Manager 30 for that manages our battery power and lets you know where where your uh, battery is at with it, uh, how much solar is coming in, your shore power. Uh, it, uh, below that is our Truma. So that's going to control your uh, your heat and then also control your fan and your hot water and then next to that is your Xantrex that's for your inverter uh, so you can turn that on and off and that Xantrex is also it's all of those electronics including your battery are all on the inside of that compartment so if you need to service it or like you said get to the battery there you go everybody right. you got access to it and you got some 110 power right there and then you got your I like this uh, that is a Dometic fridge. That's this a, is it's a 30 liter. It's a CFF Dometic. What I really like about it is you can access that from either side. So that lid flips one side or the other, which is really great. So it doesn't matter how you set it on there. So you never forget that. And if I wanted to, I could take this out and plug it into my truck. Correct, correct. It's, it's really lightweight. So once you get it completely full, it's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna flip around here. We're gonna get to the other side. So in, underneath of that uh, refrigerator inside the cabinet is actually where we house the Truma Combi. The Truma Combi does a couple things, obviously. Combination, hot water, and furnace heat that's powered by our 20-pound propane tank. So, and then next to that, we have a few power ports for our refrigerator, uh, places you can charge your devices. And then next to that, finishes off our kitchen, and then all of the ports underneath are quick disconnect love it so you have it for your water and your propane that is not common in a lot of rvs that's a really cool quality i, I just can't even begin to tell you like the, the little attention to detail things that you guys did where you wanted it to be the best you could do it within reason it just blows me away you yep. got a, you got a working sink here yep working um, sink works works really well single burner stove heats coffee uh, you can do uh, great meals inside here. Black okay. water is 20 gallons. Okay. Oh, it, wait, what? Black water? Black what? water? Huh. What, what? What would we need what? a black water tank why would for? You need, why would you need a, so why would you need a black water So one of the coolest tank? things about a skinny guy camper is the fact that you have a working flushable toilet. And that is why we love the skinny guy. And that is a full-on RV toilet. That's now, a full-on, yes. This is an option, right? This is an option. You can get this. This actually holds a, the, the it has a 20 gallon, pro, or 20 gallon black tank uh, below, and it uses a macerator to evacuate all of the waste, Okay. Uh, which is great. You can, uh, it actually has a small port on it, uh, grinds up all the waste, and you can use um, just a, a pit toilet or a, um, uh, pour a potty back up to that and get rid of all of your waste. You nice. do not need to go to an RV park to get rid of your waste. And this is this is a, a fantastic feature uh, for the Skinny Guy camper. And that's a good size black tank for a small family that's going to be out in this thing for two or three days. You're set. It is. It now, is. Now this and and I didn't get a, a good view of this earlier, but um, there is a lot of space on this backside. An adult can easily be on their knees here, head not touching the ceiling, putting your shirt on, whatever. You got a lot of hangout space here if it's raining. Yeah, yeah, this is great. So one of the things I like about this versus maybe another truck camper, something that's cab over, is that you can sit up in this bed. So if, if we're sleeping in this bed and you want to sit up in this bed, you want to sit in it to do work, or you just want to sit it, uh, sit it to play a game or play cards, you can do that inside here because there's a lot of head space there. All right, Justin, thank you for the tour. Jake, I'm not coming out. So you guys have fun. I'm gonna hang out. I might take a nap up here. Uh, we'll catch you later. Um, what do you, what's your role at Skinny Guy? I'm not sure. <laughs> Honestly, cause you left me out. We didn't even talk about it. See, no, this is no. <laughs> Give, give us give us some love. Man. No, 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 no. So uh, I'm sales manager at Skinny Guy. 
And so. you helped set this whole thing up for us. Thank yes. you, by the way. Yes, you're very he welcome. took my call. Um, so this is the crew. Now, um, website, take it from here. Yeah. You, got it. you want to give us a website? Yeah. Uh, SkinnyGuyCampers.com. Uh, we're also on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. What else? What else are we on? Twitter. Twitter. We're on Twitter, yeah. Everybody's on Twitter. You on TikTok? Yeah. Uh, not as of yet. Uh, not yet. So, See, everybody's going to go yeah. on TikTok. So you heard yet. that right here, guys. You make sure you follow them when they get on TikTok. That is a must. Hey, guys. Uh, we just want to thank you for coming along and listening and or watching to this particular segment. We got to give a special shout out and thanks to CEO and founder of Skinny Guy Campers, Jason. His uh, engineer or mind behind this thing. Uh, Donovan, and then also over in sales is Justin. Uh, make sure you go to skinnyguyscampers.com or skinnyguycampers.com for more information on this amazing product. Um, thanks to them. Thanks to SEMA for hosting these guys and letting us come in here and share all of this with you. Make sure you go over to partscounterguru.com and listen to the podcast. If you go to the podcast link, hit that. You can go to any platform you want to hear that podcast for any of the video segments out of this. Make sure you go over to youtube.com forward slash parts count of gurus. And also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also other socials. We're all over them. Thanks a lot. See you next year.